Here's uh, a song which is also from the last album. It tells the story of how we recorded it and what went wrong when we did it. it happened in Switzerland. The song's thing called Smoke on the Water.
smoke on the water. Wow. Smoke. What a beautiful way to describe what happened. The yeah. horrible events of that day. Uh, or that uh, night. Bad and recording. And the next morning. In Switzerland. Smoke all on the water and fire in the sky. Uh, due to some uh, mischief mongers, some crazy fans who just uh, burn the place down because of the flare guns that they use carelessly. Ah, oh, wow. What a, uh, it, this is definitely... Um, this riff, this cha 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 Most rock bands when they start out, I think this is one of the first they play. tunes, the lead guitarist, the bass guitarist, uh, you know, they like to get in on the action. This is one of the first tunes they probably pick up on their guitar. You know, they like uh, playing this because it's quite simple. I remember when I was young, even though I don't play the guitar at all, I could easily play this oh. on the guitar. Uh, and as well as on the keyboard. I would only play this. It was pretty simple to play on the piano keyboard this tune, you know, and even on the guitar. It was uh, very easy. Most rock bands, when they start out, they learn this one. And of course, doing the rest is pretty difficult. The drumming, the ex 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 exceptional lead guitar work by Richie Blackmore later on, very, very difficult for them to pull off. But this tune, Almost every, a, anyone can uh, play with some listening. Uh, wow, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And a stark reminder to not get too careless when you're at a rock show, when you're at any music fest. You know, make sure that you have all safety procedures, follow all safety and security procedures. Because in today's world, you we saw what happened, uh, you know, three odd weeks ago in... Uh, Israel when there was a peace concert going on and such horrific and events. And then war, war broke out. Horrific, out of it. Horrific events happened at that. Mm -hmm. uh, girls were raped, uh, made uh, paraded naked. Their uh, boyfriends were shot while after watching their girlfriends being raped and uh, all kinds of things being done to them. Young girls, many of them are teenagers, uh, sadly. And some of them have been taken hostage, dozens of them in fact. So it's a crazy world we live in. So definitely if you're at a rock show, you're at a music show concert, make sure you have enough security arrangements in place. You don't know who is around the corner. Who as in which terror group or which uh, nuisance mongers, which hooligans are around the corner or attending the show anyway. So this is a great song to remind us of all that. that all these kind of things can happen. But nevertheless, Deep Purple, being the 26 year old professionals that they were uh, and possibly when they wrote this song they must have been 20 so 20, 22 so oh, they uh, performed it in uh, I mean yeah. when they were recording in so, so like the whole yeah, experience so, the real one so literally at that young age in the early 20s nevertheless they went on and did this uh, recording or the performance nevertheless in, despite the damage that was done all around I remember listening to this song in the past as well, but this time it was more effective. I don't know why, whether it was in Osaka that they played it better, they were more mature already or they had their, uh, uh, you know, playing uh, the singer. It was cleaner uh, on the instruments. I like the primary tune. The moment it started, I said, yes, I know this. It's one of the iconic tunes that nobody can forget. The moment it plays, you know how it goes. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I think it may have also been used in many movies Maybe. because I don't forget this the moment it started I know I know this tune and I can go along it's with quite it. catchy it is catchy it's super groovy, catchy, catchy. Uh, that tune da, da, da. it's it's super da, catchy da, da, da. so you really can't miss it you can't you forget it. it you really remember it the way it's pulled off is absolutely amazing it's not just about the tune it's about the vocals it's about everything else that's done by the drama etc Brahma, in fact, is the star of the show. And possibly at that time, because of the exceptional uh, quality of this recording, the drama must have been, probably must have been the undermined person of the band. Because this, uh, the vocalist is exceptional. Uh, and the vocalist also plays the instruments. And then you have this phenomenal lead guitar player, perhaps uh, in the top two or three in the world at that time, uh, as far as uh, huge bands were concerned. So you had a phenomenal lead guitarist. So yeah, the drummer, even though he sounds so good, you probably would not notice him with this kind of uh, a vocal and uh, lead guitar artistry in this band. Anyway, the next song that we're going to listen to in our next reaction video is called The Mule. It's the something Mule. that I've not really heard or I don't remember right now. 
May have heard it, but I don't remember. We've seen a movie. Right yeah, the movie. Exceptional movie. Clint Eastwood. Oh, Clint Eastwood one. Yeah. yeah, there's another movie with the same name. We're talking about the one starring Clint Eastwood. Yeah. So, I don't know about that. Pretty good movie to you know to really. It's, it's okay. It's done a good job. It's done a good job. It's good. Good movie to watch. Yeah. Somehow you connect with it in many ways. That's it for this one. Thank you.